friends, let's talk profiling principles. And today I want to talk about merging profiles to find key levels. Often traders come and look at the profile as a way to find better areas of interest. And I think this is one of the key advantages of using the profile is to identify those areas where we're finding auction participants engaging in two-sided trade. Uh, when that happens, we get consistent expectation of behavior around that. So it's really great to know where those prices are. And merging profiles is a way to do that. So here I have uh, S&P E-mini futures, a um, bunch of sessions here in the auction. The question is, well, where are the really key levels to this auction? What should I have in my plan? What levels should I key off of? How do I think about that as I go forward and build off of that, have expectations of if I achieve one level, go to the next and so forth. So the way to do this is to think about distributions and development. So a, distribu a distribution is like a trend. Okay, a distribution of capital is always followed by a development of capital. So we get directional action followed by sideways action followed by directional action. So if we can isolate those and look at look at the structure of the merged profile across those movements of capital, we find some interesting things. So what we're going to do here is we're going to identify three different distributions or you know specific distributions. So one that I see uh, really starts back here. So we're going to look at this distribution. This is breaking off of a key 3860 area. It was a prior range. Uh, and then we developed for a while. There's another distribution here that actually revisited where we were before. We might actually merge those two. And then we have the most recent distribution this week of where we've been off of this low that we've ramped up. And what I want to see is, okay, as we've ramped and come up, you know, like, why are we, why are we pausing here at 3,900? What, what's significant is anything happened there in the merge profile that we've given us an insight as to why those levels. So now what we want to do is we want to go in here and merge these profiles and get a sense of where some key levels are within those distributions. So first we'll, we'll merge this one. Okay, and now we'll merge the second one. And now we're gonna mer merge the last one up to today. We won't include today's data in there. Okay, and now we talked about how these two really overlap. So we're just gonna merge these two into one big composite here. Okay, so now what is it showing us? This is showing us that full distribution of capital and it's showing us a concentration of time and volume. So these are colored by intensity of volume. And very quickly, very quickly, we uh, isolate a number of key levels to the auction that we could now carry forward in our plan. And I can I can think about those and plan around those. One clearly is right here. So let's let's just drop some levels down here now. We'll talk about this. There's one here. One here. There's one there. There's one here. Nope, do that. And then here. Here. And let's go back to this one. So first off, when I think about just what's happened even today, uh, where the session opened was at one of these key levels and where we auctioned up to overnight. We've auctioned up to, we paused a little bit here and we found, we really struggled to get above what was the most traded price by time and volume in that distribution. Okay, so, and if, if we roll back through you know, where's the next area that we would look to trade back to? There's the 3870 area below that, got kind of a 3846, 
zone. Below that would be the 3830 to 3840. We get above that, we've got 3917 to 3920. Then it looks like 30, 3950. So we've isolated from all of the other prices that are out there, uh, areas that are significant to the auction. And when we're in between these, you know, let's say that that's the noise. Um, and I, I can play from one level to the next and have, and have confidence that likely there were participants that behaved there. I'm expecting them to re-engage. So like this morning coming up into that 3907, I expect the auction to slow. It did do that. If they can accept above that, then that would then become support and base to get. So for this auction and this just current distribution to continue moving higher, we need to be, get, be able to get over this area. Now, this is the other thing that the merge things can help you see is it can see, all right, from where I've come from, in the current distribution, the volume is down here. We're up here. You can also see that as we've moved higher, the amount of time and volume has declined. So in the short term, as we've come back into this distribution, we've been running out of participation. So we're gonna have to queue up into this to get some energy, keep moving higher. So that's how to use merge profiles. I know a lot of traders use volume profile or they may look at it across a, a fixed time frame, but it can be really insightful when you identify what's happened within these different distributions and key off of those levels. Hope that's helped. Ping us with any questions, feedback. Thanks for watching. Thanks for liking. We'll talk to you soon. Peace.